the middle class. And now I have some questions for the minister, with your uh, agreement. Uh, minister, as a member of parliament representing British Columbia and a fourth generation Vancouverite, I'm very proud that BC is the gateway to Asia Pacific. And that's because of the rich history of the west coast of Canada. It truly is where east meets west and has for well over a century. And it's also because of a concerted effort for decades on the part of all three levels of government and business to build the Asia Pacific Gateway, including the country's largest port, the Port of Vancouver, and the Vancouver International Airport. This year, YVR was voted best airport in North America for the eighth consecutive year at the Skytrax World Airport Awards. These awards are uh, as a, re a result of 13.8 million passengers voting. And YVR broke all records because no airport has ever won this eight years in a row. As well, YVR also has six Chinese airlines flying across the Pacific, which is two more than its closest competitor in North America. And this is not just demand driven. YVR has set out intentionally to attract this kind of, kind of investment and provide this kind of service. I also know that provincial governments and businesses across the country take an active interest in Asia's markets with a network of provincial trade offices throughout the region as well, of course, as the, those of the federal government. I was in Vietnam, Singapore, and Brunei a few weeks ago promoting softwood lumber and Canada's progressive trade agenda. In uh, excuse me, um, the time is just about out, so if we want an answer from the Minister, I would just say that uh, we will allow the Minister to make a statement right now, otherwise I will have to adjourn the House. Comment on the Asia-Pacific region and the importance to Canadian exporters. The Honourable uh, Minister of uh, International... Madam Speaker, I'll make it very simple. Okay. Us, we're watching in Vancouver, you have a great member of Parliament, which is doing an astonishing job for British Columbia. I would like to acknowledge the privilege I have to serve with a great uh, parliamentarian that she is in Parliamentary Secretary. She's been a great advocate of Vancouver, British Columbia, and making sure that Canada is very much on the trade agenda when it comes to Asia Pacific. I can only say thank you, and thank you for those watching us in BC tonight. <laughs> I want to thank the Minister of International Trade for his comments. It being 11.58 p.m., pursuant to Standing Order 81.4, all votes are deemed reported. The committee will rise, and I will now leave the chair.